ever wanted to talk to someone from far away? I'm sure you could call or video chat. But nothing beats being there. Well, almost being there. Hey, Nick. Nick. Oh, jeez, David, how you doing? Are you enjoying my telepresence? Most uh, people do. I am. So, so this is the this is Robopoke. Uh, where are you right now? Well, technically, I'm in Connecticut, um, and you're in New York. But I, I could just as well be anywhere. The machine that David and I have been using is called a Texi. It's what's known as a telepresence robot. All you need to use this is a Wi-Fi connection, a webcam, and of course the robot. So David Pogue was just controlling the robot from his home in Connecticut, and this is the way he was doing it. What you see on my computer is I have a Skype connection which is connecting to the robot so I can see through the cameras. Um, and I also have a little browser plug-in right here that's actually showing what, what the robot can see. So the purpose of the robot is really for companies that have a lot of remote workers that want to be able to wander the hallways and talk to other co-workers while they can't actually be in the location that they're working. The robot is still in development, but for a few busy executives it has become indispensable. They say it lets them be in two places at once and offers the serendipity of a real conversation. Want to talk to the robot? Yeah. Yes. Hi. That was the robot talking. <laughs> Have you ever seen a robot before? Um, on TV. On t well, this is your first real life robot experience. What is it like? What does it feel like? I feel like it's a screen on a stick. I'm curious, do you think that this is actually a viable solution for people that, that want to have uh, telepresence conversations? Oh, absolutely not. I don't, I honestly don't get it. I still don't know why this is better than a video call on Skype. Um, do you know? But I could see it maybe in a smaller setting where you have like an office in San Francisco and an office in New York and, uh, and it's a really small space. I, I could possibly see that being, uh, you know, a solution. While the robot might be at a transcontinental flight in a bad case of jet lag, it has its limitations. It only runs for a couple of hours each charge. It can't open doors, handle stairs, or even punch an elevator button. The lack of arms is a problem. Um, in fact, could, would you mind scratching my nose right now? I can't, I can't get to it. Thank you. That's much better. Ah.